Hi everybody! I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I figured since I had a little bit, okay a lot of it, uh, of time on my hands and I missed you all, that I would do like a really quick haul vi type video, haul review type video um, of some stuff that I picked up while we're quarantining and also i just wanted to apologize for not really being as consistent as i wanted to be with my content um i just had a lot going on with work and home and yeah like when i was working i just did not have as much free time as I would have liked. I felt like I practically lived at my job. And as crazy as it is to say, I've actually, I was, I'm, I've actually been a little bit um, grateful for being in quarantine right now because it caused me to really slow down and focus on and like get my mental health together um get really just like appreciate the time that i have with my daughter before she starts school i don't know how that's gonna go but you know just i don't know i mean i know it's been stressful for a lot of people well i mean it's been stressful for us too but that's one way that I've been trying to look at at quarantine and being at home and not just out and constantly in a go 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 type of um, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for on a go 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 type of speed so anyway now that I've got that out of the way um, I do have some good news um, I am pregnant. I'm in the very last legs of my pregnancy, which means I only have a few weeks left. So, um, I'm going to try and do a few color alongs or um, things like that before the baby comes. But anyway, let's just dive right into this. Like, well, before the baby comes, but because um, I pretty much got everything together that I need to get together and I need a way to relax and this is kind of how I do it anyway so the first two things that I have or the first well not even two the first little stack of items that I have are um, some books the first two are some color pencil tutorial books and I don't know if you guys have like seen these out on Amazon you can definitely find both on Amazon and I'll definitely link all of these um, items in the description box below um, but I saw these um, on Amazon picked them up because anything that helps me with like shading and fur and things of that nature I'm all over because I just I love my pencils whether they be watercolor pencils or um, ink tints prismas um, polychromos so this one's called love color pencils by um, Vivian Wong and I'm not, I'm not gonna go like too in-depth on the books but they show you basically like different ways to hold the pencil they have like try it yourself pages um, blending shading different coloring techniques because I really honestly speaking I've never thought of cross hatching or stippling myself even though I have taken art classes before um, and I kind of want to try stippling because it just like when it worked like when you see some of the artwork it looks really really nice um, so there's like stippling um, she has a few pages that you can color yourself she talks about mixes and shades one thing to note is that she does use the Albrecht Durer um, color, watercolor pencils for hers 
Um, so you might get a different blend um, when you try it. I don't think that's gonna stop me from, cause I've tried the hair and she does, like she shows you how to do eyes and hair, different skin tones, noses. And I really appreciate it cause she even gives you, you know, practice pages to try uh, different sizes, lips, different types of lips too, because you don't really see that. I don't, well, I haven't really seen it in books. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, ombre hair which I need to work on because I really love ombre hair fur um but it looks like a really good book and she's got crap like practice pages in here for you to try um and do some of the techniques that she teaches you she even gives you a list of the colors that she used and at what stages she used them at so like with the leopard she started with these colors and then kind of each page is different I really I actually really like this book um, probably like it's it definitely gonna be a mainstay in my future coloring I don't know <laughs> this one too I really like because I saw the I found these both at the same time and um, I was getting some fabric for um, a blanket that I was making for the new baby and I found both of these <laughs> kind of just perusing like but well I'm always down for a good book whether it be something to read or something to color I probably have an addiction and I honestly don't care I love books that's that um, this one similar but it does not have like practice pages i appreciate the fact that the love color pencils has practice pages for you to try the techniques on um what really 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 same information um but what really 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 struck me with this one is the fact that it comes with like it shows you how to do your own color wheel um but fruit that is one of the things that I struggled with fern fruit I just for whatever reason kind of like I can I can kind of mimic a picture um, like get, get a reference picture and try to kind of mimic it they don't always look as good as I want them to so I kind of appreciated the fact that um, who is this by Chelsea Ward so this book is by Chelsea Ward um, it's called Modern Color Pencil. I probably should have said that at first, but doing things backwards. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that she added um, stuff for complex patterns and fruit and layering. How many times do you see an avocado on a color picture? You don't. So um, I will note that um, these are more for like drawing. But I think I can gather information for coloring as well, which I appreciate. Um, and maybe I can learn to draw some backgrounds, who knows? Um, that's another thing that I struggle with, um, glass. There's some pictures in some of my favorite books that have glass and I've kind of like left those by the wayside. Even though the pictures are gorgeous, I love them absolutely but I have no idea how to go about coloring glass. So I kind of just like, okay, well, you'll sit there. Um, Forest Girl is one of those books. Speaking of, if you follow the creator of Forest Girl on Instagram, she just announced that the third book is in the works. And I don't know about you, but as soon as it's announced and it's up for pre-order, I'm ordering it. <laughs> Because I'm a, an, like I said, I'm a book addict. And Forest Girl is one of my favorite books. So these ones are, <laughs> so these ones are some of the my favorite books that I've picked up. Absolutely love these three. 
these top three books right here. So these are the Chibi Girl coloring books. And there's three volumes so far. The latest one just came out, I believe, earlier this year. Um, so they're remnant to me, they're reminiscent of the Jade Summer books. And that they've got these really cute chibi, chibi girl designs with the big eyes. But they also have their own very unique designs. And I love, love, love the pictures that are in these books. And they're so cute um, to color. So you've got like the evil queen, a warrior princess. Um, these I got off of Amazon. Um, one thing I'll know I've noticed is that Amazon's paper isn't um, <clears throat> as toothy. I mean, it's got tooth to it, but it's not as um, newsprinty as like their books were a few years ago. Like the paper is smoother, um, and it seems a lot easier to color on. I haven't really noticed. I'm not like a marker colorist. I'm more of a pencil person. Um, but I colored in these with alcohol markers and it didn't seem like it was absorbing more of the ink like the older books because I had the original uh, Jade Summer Chibi Girls and it seemed like the, <laughs> that book was like destroying my markers or drying them out a lot faster. Um, this one's cute. I don't know if this is Alice in Wonderland or not. I'm leaning towards yes. Yeah, little space girl, mad scientist. This, I have ideas, but I'm like, ugh, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to try it. I do like that they come with, that each book comes with um, two copies of the pictures. Very much, like I said, like Jade Summer, you get uh, one copy in the front of the book, one copy in the back of the book, and I might order the they're all they were really cheap they were like six dollars and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to buy one for my daughter she is five almost five she'll be five at the end of this month and she's been trying to steal my coloring books I say steal and I mean she's very successful at it because she's taken a couple of them so I found a few um, like colory like kawaii coloring page books on etsy and i just print out pages for her to color so she'll come in and she'll be like mommy can we can you print out some pages for me to color and i just have to tell her like okay and she gets her pencils out and she colors them i found one that had sushi in it and she's never had sushi before so she kind of <laughs> was like what's this and I was like it's sushi she's like it's a cake I'm like no it's sushi and it's so funny because she gets this idea in her head that it's whatever she said it was the first time and you kind of just got to roll with it because she's four and she's gonna do that <laughs> she, that's just what kids do and I'm like no it's sushi it's basically fish and rice and she's like oh ew I'm gonna color it red and green she did and it was Chris I was like okay fine it's gonna be Christmas sushi okay that's just how she is she's adorable to me sometimes she's not adorable. Um, so this is the what this is a work in progress that I've been working on just testing out the new ish they're new to me because i and i wish i had gotten them before they changed the formula the color it uh 60 set is what these are and also i have the 25 set from the original color markers um like i said i don't feel like it's really eating up the ink in my markers um but i also well, I'll get to that. I'll also notice some stuff about the new markers that, I don't know, make me question them. Um, this is what I use to keep the ink from spreading to the next page. Cute little genie. 
this is probably going to be my next picture. I don't know. I'm going to test out pencils next because I've been playing with the markers. So it's only right that I bring out my favorite medium to use to try these out. This one, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'm definitely seeing some red and black um, colors in here. Maybe like a gold black background, red curtains on a, um, a black stage. Really, really, really cute. This one too. These are two of my like top like favorite pictures. I love Japanese cherry blossoms. I just think they're so pretty. A little country rocker chick. And then, yeah, like I said, same doubled up. So for six bucks, you really can't go wrong. Like the covers, I really, really like the covers because they're not your typical glossy coloring book covers. They're matte and they're like this really soft material. I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it. I just like it. Either way. So this is Chibi Girls Volume 2. Again, I'll just leave a link for these down below so you can pick them up. Um, I guess Amazon has put a disclaimer on like most of their pre-printed coloring book or the ones that they have to print where they let you know it's going to take about three days before it ships out to you, whether you have Prime or not, because I used uh, my cousin's Prime to get these and really makes no difference. I really, really love this picture. And this one. I'm not going to lie, the second one's my absolute favorite. I really just love the cover. I love the cookies, the cupcakes. Um, I think the artist's name is April Amber. There's no website or anything like that. Um, you can leave. This is cute this one too seriously I love these pictures I really do because I hadn't seen any flip throughs of these um, online a oh, little red riding hood and little wolf in the garden cute chibi dance club um, I didn't really see any flip throughs of these when or not just flip throughs but like pictures um, of what I saw on Amazon I kind of just looked at them and was like oh these are cute I need this in my life <laughs> and, and ordered it and it's kind of like a toss-up sometimes you win some sometimes you lose some I feel like these are a major win these three books right here are some of my absolute favorite because I really love anything kawaii anything chibi anything cute and artsy and fun to color especially when you want something simple or you're just coloring with your kid and or color even just coloring by yourself because these like they can be for for little kids you can give them out at birthday parties at least that's what we used to, I don't know, that's what we used to do at my family. Like, they'd have those, like, 99 cent uh, coloring books that you could find at Michael's. Like, stacks of them because they knew there were going to be kids there. And they'd have boxes of Crayolas. And whatever book the kids picked out, that was their book. So, you kind of... Even if it like birthday parties, family get togethers, things like that, the kids left with something nice. And it, it was a nice little way to keep them occupied if they weren't playing outside. Um, so they, you know, you have like, I think about a small box of Crayola is what, $1.99? So like, you've got the Crayola, you've got the cute little crayons, and even, you don't even have to use Crayolas, you can use like the cheaper ones, you can go to the 99 cent store. Um, and get a stack of coloring books and a stack of crayon, uh, boxes of crayons. Every kid gets their own crayons. Every kid gets their own coloring book. And even in you, or they can, or one or two coloring books. You really didn't care. Hey, now you have something you can take home 
you spent it coloring you did this really cool picture and now you have this really awesome book with your favorite characters in it or even characters you didn't even know about beforehand and you had a good time because you got to spend time with family i liked it i think that's like a nice little um, plus for family parties so that's kind of something that we used to do just to I don't know yeah I like parties like that I like things like that where you're not just thinking of because I feel like a lot of parties you a lot of people are thinking like oh my god how am I gonna keep the kids occupied or what am I gonna do with the adults and like okay we've got like this is the, the table set up for the adults now what do we do for the kids just set a little area aside for them to color or do arts and crafts no glitter glitter is craft herpes and i refuse to have it in my house <laughs> i love sparkly things but i can't deal with glitter i just can't um and it doesn't even have to be coloring books um it can be i think that's kind of that i don't know i just never gave up the love of coloring as that I had from when I was a kid. And it kind of grew as an adult. Like, I really, really just love bringing a picture to life with color. Cause you start with this really cool artwork. You might've drawn some, you might not have drawn it. And then you add color to it and you just, cute little farmer girl <laughs> and you just I don't know you turn it into this new I don't know it seems like a new thing once you what's it called once you you've added your own little twist to it kind of like the artist you're part of it maybe you're part of a team I don't know how to I, I am not saying what I I'm not coming across what very well but um it kind of feels like you collaborated with the artist a little bit added your own spin on it made it a little special made it special made it your own because it, it's so cool watching the coloring community and that little clown um it's so cool in the coloring community because you can have maybe three or four or five um youtube colors coloring the same picture and color along and the picture will look entirely different depending on who's coloring it based on their style based on the techniques they used based on the tools they use whether they use stickles or markers or watercolor pencil just plain old watercolor whether they use like the fine tech paints or colored pencil and that's cool. I feel like I'm rambling. It's weird me. It's weird. It's so weird doing this again. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually like, I really did miss this. I miss going live with you guys. I miss like watching your videos and being a part of your lives. Don't think that because I haven't been filming that I haven't been watching because I have been viewing videos and liking videos and sharing videos I even got my mom into coloring <laughs> so <laughs> recently um, I basically gave her my daydreams book and I gave her my not fairy miracles the first one the one with the red cover I cannot think of the name of it I gave those two to her to color because they were seriously right up her alley anything with butterflies and and, and like little furry creatures and animals and stuff because she had this um, really pretty um, Japanese coloring book and I can't think of the name of that one either because I bought it too and it just it has these really really nice pictures and she was coloring in that and so I was like so I gave her and that's probably why if you follow me on Instagram you'll notice that a lot of my pictures have been colored with my um, 
polychromos and not my prismas is because I gave her my prisma set too so I'm like because she's been really into I mean like every time I see her she's got the pencils out and she's got one of her books out and she's coloring it she's even like oh I'm definitely framing this one I love this one very Catwoman esque cat burglar esque and I just enjoy it and um who gave these people fireworks so early i don't i hope you guys can't hear that but it's driving me nuts it's insane like why would you get who is going out here and just getting fireworks and making so much noise in the middle of the night this is insane nut jobs where so yeah i gave her those because and i was explaining to her that there's a whole community of people who enjoy coloring as well and she's like it's so relaxing but it seems like every time i get to coloring or i pull out my pencils or i, I pull out a book <laughs> she um jj comes in the room it's like she has some kind of radar my daughter and it's funny to me because I feel that I feel the exact same way. So this is volume three. Sweet. Um, yeah, I totally feel the very same way. It's like she knows that you're trying to relax and she knows that you're trying to like, all right, I'm chilling. I'm doing my own thing. I'm coloring and I'm like in the zone. And she cannot have that cannot stand <laughs> she needs your attention now because you're not focusing on me um, so this is the mermaid coloring book by Daisy Joy this one I did not find on my own um, I saw it on and Anne's channel from a colorful life I definitely plan on picking up their toddler book for my daughter and the princess book because the mermaids and the princesses were the ones that stood out to me the most as something that I would just be like oh my god I need to color these so um, I love these um, she did do a flip through on her channel really 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 cute books I love the fact that they give you copies of all the pictures at the front of the book to like test your colors out and I kind of did that a little bit. I don't really like how that turned out, but so cute. Um, I did go on their website and um, joined their Facebook group. They have they have a few downloads that you can download um, for like I think some of them were that were holiday um, downloads. Like these are some. And they had some Valentine's Day ones that were really cute that I was coloring. Um, and I printed those out. And my daughter really liked the unicorn one. Um, what was I, gonna say? I think you get a few free pages to download if you buy a book. Um, there's also some free pages in the back of the book. But I downloaded one of their free sample pages off of the Facebook page and then colored it posted it on my Instagram and they're really I, I really like that they feature if you tag them in it they feature you on their page they're really nice um, company this is another work in progress I don't like how the fish turned out and if I'm being honest I'm not necessarily comfortable coloring large areas with alcohol markers I feel like I'm not color I don't know if I'm not coloring fast enough or what but if you have any tips about alcohol markers please drop them in the comments below help a sister out because I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing I'm kind of just like winging a prayer winging it over here um, but these pictures are so freaking adorable. I love, I'm telling you, I really love cutesy pictures. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of these, 
and I love I actually really just love coloring people if I don't have to color a plant cool but I really enjoy coloring people I didn't and I didn't find that out until maybe like a year or two into my adult coloring journey because I kind of figured oh well I know the Johanna bat before I found the YouTube coloring community it was mostly like I don't know me coloring in the Johanna Basford books and I still color in them to this day Ivy and the Inky Butterfly is a classic and one of my absolute favorite books um, I'm kind of just like finding my way figuring out what kind of books I was interested in what kind of mediums I was interested in and once I figured that out this is the one of the freebie pages that they give you and this is the one that I colored not in the book because I hadn't gotten the book yet I think it's in my makeshift binder that I have all of my printable like Etsy pages in um, but yeah I mean coloring people is my thing with colored pencils and with water soluble pencils I love water soluble pencils I love this oasis with like the koi pond and the little ugh, so cute um that's my thing like anything where you can add water and the, the and activate the pencil or anything where you can just straight up shade it um I'm down for it uh, like if I could if I could afford and find a pack like a, a whole set of Holbein pencils I probably would and they were available open stock that's kind of like a must for me if I'm gonna spend that much money Honestly, I really wish I was just like rich and could buy as many coloring supplies as I ever want, would ever need or want in my life. <laughs> and that's probably why I'm not like filthy rich because I'd be like buried in colored pencils and markers and books. And I'd probably be giving stuff away there's no telling I have no idea that's probably what my husband is, I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna watch this video and think to himself my wife is insane and don't you have enough stuff to color with probably but that's I don't, I don't I mean what do you want me to say there's there's nothing wrong with that so <laughs> I can't begrudge anybody their coloring collection or their coloring book collection I like a variety. I like being able to go to my little bookshelf and find a book or a or go 